Hey everybody! Now we're going to go through example three of our notes. Um, example three continues with conversions, so we're still working through conversions and dimensional analysis. So example three asks, how many molecules are in 5.0 moles of water? So again, what I did is I underlined my given piece of information, 5.0 moles, and I circled what the problem is asking me to find, which is molecules. So that's always the first thing that you should do. Find what the problem is asking for. Find the given information that you know. Once I know my given and what I'm trying to find, I can set up my conversion. Use dimensional analysis. I start with my given, 5.0 moles of water. Well, I have moles of water on the top here. I need moles of water on the bottom. So my moles cancel, but what I'm trying to do is get from moles of water to molecules of water. Moles and molecules or moles and atoms, that's when Avogadro's number comes into play. So for every one mole, no matter whether it's molar mass or Avogadro's number, it's always one mole. Okay? It's never 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd moles. No, it's always one. So I have moles on the bottom. For every one mole of water, I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. Now, I double check, my moles cancel, I'm left with molecules. That's what the problem asked me for, so I know in terms of my setup, I'm done. But now what I need to do is I need to multiply. Five times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is going to give us 3.011, roughly, times 10 to the 24th molecules. However, look at our given piece of information. Okay? Our given piece of information is 5.0. That's two significant figures. That means my answer also needs to be two significant figures. Remember, we don't include the exponents or anything. All we look at is the number in front. Okay? 3.0, that's two sig figs. Now, you also might be looking at this saying, well, last year we used 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Does that second two really make a difference? The answer is yes. Okay, from now on, this is Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. More significant figures, more precise. So when you multiply everything out, 3.0 times 10 to the 24th molecules of H2O.